Hawkeye students are not creative enough. Or at least, that's what a recent study said. The PISA 2022 Creative Thinking Assessment, conducted by the OECD, concluded that our students scored below average on the creativity scale. Which got us to think, what actually is creativity? And how do we measure it, if we can indeed measure it? One of the most consequential works in this domain is a paper titled The Processes of Creative Thinking, published in 1958. In it, Alan Newell and his colleagues defines creativity in four ways. One, creativity results in something new and fresh for an individual and their culture. Two, creativity involves challenging traditional ideas. Three, creativity demands a strong drive and persistence over a significant period of time. And four, creativity begins with recognizing that a problem is poorly defined. So defining the problem itself becomes most important. The PISA assessment I mentioned before looked at four domains, written expression, visual expression, social problem solving, and scientific problem solving. Sound fair? How would you define creativity? In this Creativity Unboxed mini-series, we're going to dive into the topic of creativity and explore its mysteries. Stay tuned for upcoming episodes on how to define it, how to encourage it, even how to be it. In the meantime, keep playing, learning, and growing.